So I'm just going to do a quick overview of my SAR um, and just kind of go into an explanation of it, but I'm not going to um, read the SAR because I have attached a link to the right of this video um, that will allow you to read the actual document, um, but the purpose of this video is to go more in depth through it. So I started with humanities. Um, and in humanities, we've been we talked about a lot about um, what is identity, and it was a, it was an interesting topic for me um, because I never really thought about that. Like I'd always I'd always wondered like um, I think more subconsciously, uh, like you know when people say, well you know what's your favorite color or describe yourself or do a two hundred character biography, um, it's it's kind of like, okay, well, this is my name, my age, my favorite color, where I go to school. Um, and you basically just lay out a few, you know, quick details. But um, as, as we talked more about it, you know, we realized, you know, is that really identity? Or is that just part of your identity? Is that just a quick, a quick piece, the tiny little chip off of the cookie? Um, you know, is that just the tip of the iceberg, you know? So, I mean, it's like we went through and we we talked about like the different scales of it you know is identity more like your personality um or physical traits cuz because you know you you call a, you have an id an identification card um and normally like our school ones have our picture they have our grade our name and our school number and the name of the high school and that's our high school identification. That's how they see us. But, you know, if you had a license, then the way that, you know, the DMV and the government sees you is they have your age, your height, you know, your name, your weight, your gender, you know, your hair color, your eye color, you know, all these other things. And it's, it's still, but it's still just like the ID for high school. It's just more in depth. You know, but what's what's the difference between them? What are the similarities, and what are they leaving out? So I mean, then you go through, and a lot of times when you start school, you know, especially in elementary, a teacher would have you fill out like a paper, and it'd be like an about me paper. You know, you'd attach a little picture of yourself. You'd write your name, your nicknames, your hobbies, favorite TV show, favorite color, favorite sport. You know, it was all your favorites basically. Um, and, you know, who's to say that favorites are your identity, but in, you know, elementary, that's how that teacher wanted to see you. That's like, well, I need to know who this person is. I need to know who they are, their identity. Um, and this is what I'm going to ask them. I'm going to ask them all their favorite things, you know, and that's, that's, you know, personality. You know, that's not even physical right there. That's all personality. So, I mean, if you're, if you're looking at identity, there's so many, so many different ways to perceive it and. I feel like there's not a single a single way to look at it. Um, also on my website, I included um, a very short blog, um, a little bit about that. It's more like a, a summary, um, since I went a little more in depth on here. Um, and I we actually I ended up writing a poem while we were free writing in class, and I will read that out loud. Um, you can also read the physical copy. On the document, it says, um, I am nobody and I am everyone. I live on a planet with over six billion people, and less than a drop of that would care if I died. I have not yet invented anything to help mankind, and I do not provide well-known entertainment to others. I do not have insane amounts of money. Therefore, I am no one. However, I am human. I have a hair color that I'm sure thousands of others do as well. I have blue eyes. And I usually wear jeans matched with a t-shirt. I have feelings and emotions. I lie. That's a short description of me, and also of much more than a handful of those six billion people. Therefore, I am everyone. Yet I'm still not you, I am only me. This is my identity, and it will hardly break the surface of who I am. So that was just my little free right there. You can take it as you will. Um, and I've, I've come to find, you know, I don't like the word identity <laughs> anymore. It's too broad. Um... You know, if you if you want to know something about me, um, you know, ask. Hey, what's your favorite color? What's your name? How how tall are you? Um, don't don't say. You know, who are you? What do you? What's your identity? Don't. I don't like that anymore. It's a. Uh,
doesn't work. It's kind of like um, we've been cur now currently this week reading um, Ishmael, and uh, we had a controversy over the topics takers and laborers versus uh, civilized and primitive. But I'll talk about that more in my next vlog. Um, but yeah, see see if you can figure it out before my next vlog comes up. Um, so another thing is, uh, we've also been doing some reading and writing, and, um, that's, that's been interesting for me, um, to get back into reading, because I had stopped reading, um, a lot last year, because I just didn't have the time, um, but having an actual reading and writing class kind of is like, hey, now it's homework, um, but it's something that I enjoy, so I don't see it as homework, and, um, that's, that's nice for me. I've been enjoying that class and trying to um, participate. Um, and the writing part is nice. I'm writing a book called Is This Home? And it's it's turning out pretty good so far, honestly. Um, I've been posting what I write onto Wattpad, which is a story sharing website slash app. So that's pretty cool. Um... As far as progress in that, I think I've made progress since last year. I had a lot of uh, trouble getting things turned in last year, and I had really taken a dip in my writing. Um, so this year I think it's going to be a lot better. Um, as for more performance, it's uh, it's hard to say, because uh, when I had written this essay, we hadn't done much. We had now turned in a paper on humans, um, which I think I did good on. I liked it. Um... Next, I wrote about Spanish, um, and I took that out of humanities, even though I included uh, reading and writing and the rest of humanities and geography and stuff together. Um, just because it's Spanish, it's a, to me it's different, I guess. Um, I, I have been behind on Rose at a Stone, um, but I have been catching up on it and actually applying it. I've been trying to write my homework from other classes in Spanish. Um, so if I have humanities homework, I write it write, write it down in Spanish um, to practice my writing. And I've also been trying to ask uh, Senora Nichols questions in class in Spanish. Um, so I'm actually very proud of that, even though it's kind of silly. Um, so that's that's something that I've been, been trying to work on. Um, and definitely progress since last year. Uh, last year I had a lot of trouble with Spanish. I didn't understand and I wasn't catching on. I felt it was a waste of time. Um, this year I'm, I'm really um, I'm really enjoying it. I think it was because last year it was like I still didn't understand anything. And this year um, I can actually understand Senora Nichols when she talks to us in class um, in Spanish. And uh, that makes me feel really good about myself. Uh, as for performance... Um, I've been doing better at the worksheets and homework and things we do. I've actually been getting um, really good grades on, so that has made me happy. Um, the last thing I talked about was STEM, which is math and biochemistry. Um, for the first two weeks, I had a lot of trouble staying focused in biochem. Uh, I was getting really distracted, kind of bored, honestly. Um, but I think that that is going to improve because... Um, we did a popcorn experiment, and we tested to see if a popcorn kernel could be classified as alive or not alive. Um, and our test, uh, my group's test, turned out um, the conclusion that it's not alive, um, based on our experiment where we used uh, different tests and cups to see that if the popcorn kernel would grow, and what it, if it needed water or not based on the characteristics of living things that we went over in class. So that was really fun. And then I heard next week um, they're going to do something, I'm assuming with a dunk tank, because she said something about getting dunked. And she said that people who will volunteer to do this need to bring something that they can get soaked in, like a swimsuit or t-shirt and shorts, and then change of clothes. So... I think I'm really going to enjoy this class. It was just the first two weeks were a little, um, but you know, it's good. And, um, you know, I think I've, uh, I don't really know how to say, uh, progress, 
because we didn't have biochemistry last year and I've never had it. Um, however, I've always liked science, so I'm just going to take this as science and say based on like 8th grade science, um, I've improved and kind of stayed the same. Improved in uh, what we talked about the, last, the first two weeks a little was uh, testing, reliable tests and hypothesis and things like that. Um, definitely going to question things I read now like, hey, is that reliable or not? I don't think it is. I mean, I'm going to be starting to look for sources and like, hey, did they use controlled variables? Like, um, so I, I definitely, um, it definitely impacted me, <laughs> which was pretty awesome. So go Miss Krieger. Ha. Um, as for math, I love it. It is my favorite class. It wasn't eighth grade. It was not last year. Um, I don't know why. I just didn't understand it very well last year. And I didn't like it. I got really upset because of that. Because I was like, math used to be my favorite class. Now it's not. Now it is again. Um, so Mrs. Johnson, Miss Johnson, I don't know, is my favorite teacher. Uh, no offense to all the other teachers because I love you all. But she is just because I think she's a lot like me. And she's really upbeat, which is fun. And um, she makes math really easy to understand. We have a math party in Learning Lab. It's awesome. Um, and so I have a lot of confidence in myself and my math skills now. Um, and so I'm like, yeah, this is great. Um, in fact, just yesterday, because this is Saturday, just yesterday on Friday, I went to math lab and we had a worksheet front and back with 16 questions. And I finished it all in learning lab and I only had to ask her two things. Two things. I was very proud of myself and I actually took my math paper and ran around showing my friends saying, hey look, I did it, I understand math. And uh, I showed Mr. Johnson, our teacher last year for uh, Mo. I was telling him how proud I was. So that was pretty awesome. Um, and it's for progress. It's progress since last year. Because like I said last year, I did not, didn't get it, didn't go well. Um, and performance. All I can say is I'm awesome. You should know I'm awesome. And I'm doing really good in math. I'm really proud of myself for that. It gives me, gives me something to smile about. So that is my little overview of my SAR there. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you take your SARs, or if you don't do SARs, because you're someone not at bio, then or you're a teacher, just uh, give yourself a little mental SAR because they're really helpful. Just be like, hey, what did I do? What did I like about it? Well, what should I improve on? And uh, it'll help. It will. SARs are a great thing. So yeah, this concludes vlog numero uno.